Hi, my name is Chad Williams, and today we're going to make a professional grouped bar plot. So let's start off with some data. So we're going to say plot data equals data dot frame. And let's start off with some values. So here we're going to have four different distributions. So let's say we have two groups, each of them have two conditions, something like that. So let's start off by making four random distributions. So our norm, uh, let's say 10 people per group. Uh, the first mean is 10 and then the standard deviation is 2. Then we'll do the same thing but with a mean of 15. Then we'll do the same thing but let's say a mean of 12. And then finally a mean of 6. Why not? Perfect. So the next thing we need to do is define our groups. So we have each group is going to have two of these conditions. So 10 plus 10 is 20. So let's say the first group we're going to repeat first, as in first group, 20 times. And then we're going to repeat second as our second group 20 times as well. But each of them have two conditions, so let's add the conditions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say uh, we're going to repeat early, let's say it's early and late, 10 times, and then we're going to repeat late 10 times. Then we're going to do that again. So we're going to do repeat early, repeat late 10 times, 10 times. And I'm going to concatenate them all with a C here. Perfect. So if I run all of that, what we get is we have values and we have group one, which are early and late, and group two, which their conditions have early and late. Great. So now, let's plot. Here we need the package ggplot, and actually ggplot2. And so, don't forget to run that. So, let's set up our plot. ggplot, and then we have aesthetics within ggplot. And what we're going to do is x equals groups, y equals our values, and then group equals condition. I guess I should have put groups here, but you could do either way. So, these two are interchangeable. And we want to say our data, and actually this is conditions, our data equals our plot underscore data frame. So if we run this, what we get is just the layout for our plot. So let's add some stuff to it. So we're going to use geom underscore bar, and because it's a grouped bar plot, we're going to do position equals dodge. Perfect. And then we're actually also going to put stat equals identity. Great. So if we run this, what we get is grouped bar plots. But that's kind of hard to read for now. So let's add some colors and it'll separate it a bit better. So we're going to add fill in the aesthetics and we're going to say that equals conditions. So if we run that together, now what we see is our grouped bar plot. Okay, let's manage a bit of this here. So we have this gray background. So the first thing to make this look a little bit better is we're gonna remove that gray background. So I'm gonna put theme underscore classic. Then that's gone now. Perfect. The other thing we notice is that these bars don't actually touch the x-axis. So what we can do is we can add a scale underscore y continuous and we write expand equals C zero zero. Then with that, it's going to touch. And now we have our legend on the right, but we want to keep that legend because that's telling us that the pinks are early and the blues are late. And there you have a professional grouped bar plot. 